Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me on this short training video series on Express Insight. This is Majid Baz Rafshan, and I'm a lead consultant of FICO Express Optimization. Over the course of last three videos, we learned about the app structure, preparing your subdirectories, and preparing your Moselle models. In this talk, I will briefly explain how you can set up your XML companion file. The XML companion file, along with the compiled version of your Moselle main file, sits in the application directory that contains the rest of the subfolders. The full XSD schema of the companion file XML is documented in the FICO Express Optimization Help under Express Insight Help, the XML reference. Examples of companion file markup are provided throughout this guide. Preparing the XML file is the third step out of the five steps that you would need to take to make an inside app. The companion file is loaded into the system at the same time as the model and should have an XML file extension. Unlike the model itself, the companion file can be updated without deleting and creating the app. The companion file is comprised of several parts, version, resources, database mirror, custom authorities, attachment configuration, and client. The main parts we will be covering in this course are database mirror, attachment configuration, and client. Once you create a new inside project, Workbench will automatically add the basics necessary for an XML file. Users can edit and add more parts based on their needs. To have an idea of how a companion file looks like, here I have included a screenshot of an Insight application XML file. As you can see, the first line is the version number. The second line is the start of model companion that, again, Workbench would add automatically and users don't need to modify it. Line 4 to 16 show how we can mirror few entities. As you see, we are mirroring two tables, fraud table and RDC table. Note that when mirroring your entities, you need to make sure that entities have the same dimension. For example, RES produce and RES inventory are both arrays with facility location ID dimension. Lines 15 to 25 show an example of configuring attachment tags, where you can tag certain input or output files and make it available for upload and or download in the user interface. Both database mirrors and attachment configuration will be subject of two videos later in this course, so don't worry about them right now. Finally, the last section is the client. In this part, you can configure the view groups and the order of views for your user interface. For example, in this case, we have three different view groups. The first view group is the main, which contains video page called welcome. The second video group has two video tabs, which are called control panel and manage demand. And finally, we have our third view group, analyze result, which is embedding a Tableau workbook. As you might recall, in previous video, I showed you how to change the name of entities such as arrays and set names in your Moselle file. In earlier version of XML companion files, schema settings were specified by entity elements within the schema element, and the enhancements were applied by the server interface when data was requested by client. Version three and later, of the companion file removes this section and delegates the configuration of the schema settings to the Moselle model via the use of annotations. So that being said, let's look at our XML file for the project that we are looking at. In this project, I have this client for my tabs and views, and then I have two view groups. One is main that contains control panel video file with the title configuration. And the second view group is the um, input data, such as orders, list of fulfillment centers, and also the shipping cost. How does this look in Express Insight? To do so, we can simply publish. So after publishing, we can have a look at the app. And as you see, we have two, two view groups. One is main and the second is input data. 
that contain one and three retail tabs. Thank you for joining me on this short training video. In next video, we'll be talking about VDL tabs and configuration of VDL files.